What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray and thank you so much for joining me in the garden today. Today I have a quick project. I'm finally going to tackle the Sweet Autumn Clematis. It is time for it to go and I thought I'd bring you along for the journey. Here we go. All right, so let's walk over here and look at the Sweet Autumn Clematis. And you can see there's still leaves and pine needles to pick up, but that's okay. We've still got some color in the garden. There's, there's still some pretty things. So here is the Sweet Autumn Clematis. Um, and this is a perennial vine. It comes back every single year. Um, I've got several I've got a specific video about it on my channel already. Um, you can go back and look at that. Um, and then I talk about it in several other videos during garden tours and things. But some areas, this vine is invasive. So if you live in like a nine or 10 zone, um, I think this becomes an invasive weed. Um, here at zone seven, um, as long as we keep it pruned back, it does fine. And so I'm literally going to prune it to the ground and the base of this vine is right there. So it comes up right there. There is a um, obelisk in there that it climbs up or an obelisk, however you wanna say that. I think obelisk is the right way. Um, and so it goes up right through there and then this vine takes out and just clings on the rest of the way. So I've just got to get in here and start pruning away at it and peeling it off the fence. Um, now, I, I, here is one thing before I get into this, I will show you. These are the spent blooms and the seeds. So the seeds um, on this plant will fly. So I don't know if you can kind of see that, but they're kind of feathery looking. Um, and a lot of gardeners try to get this pruned and out of the yard or out of the garden before the seed heads fly. Um, I have not had a problem with it reseeding itself all over the place here, but you know, in my garden, I do a pretty good job of keeping on top of weeds and such. But that is something to point out that if you live in an area where this thing really wants to take over and go, um, you do wanna get those seed heads off of the vine and discarded before they go everywhere in the wind and you'll have little babies popping up everywhere. All right, so I think at this point, I'm just gonna set the camera up and then we are going to get in here and start cutting away at this thing. Here we go. That didn't take very long at all. 
So the good thing about a vine like this is that it really weaves upon itself. Um, and so you can see I have here this obelisk that I have it planted right on top of. And a vine like this that grows so vigorously, it will grow right up this. And once it reaches here, it's usually so strong and thick that it just jumps onto the top of the fence and then it just starts sprawling and it will support itself. And the good thing about that is as you just saw in the fall, once I detached it from that trellis, it literally just folded up like a carpet and was ready to go. Um, so I still have some cleanup to do here. I did clean everything off the obelisk or trellis or lattice or whatever you want to call that. Um, and I've pruned it right back to the ground. I mean, there's probably what two inches of stalks left there. Um, I did a quick cleanup around, but you can see it left a bunch of debris on top of my pallet bar. I've got to get that cleaned up, probably bust the pressure washer out and get that cleaned up really good. This birdhouse has got to be cleaned up and it looks like it needs to be repainted. So, I mean, there's some things that it grew over and it made a little bit of a mess, but for the most part, it is such a huge impact in the garden. And when it flowers, I absolutely love it. So that is Sweet Autumn Clematis pruned. And here I'll just show you the pile. <laughs> so the big pile now has to go out to the street. Um, my next thing is to prune back this jasmine. This is a um, Carolina jasmine that I have planted in the corner there. And I think he's actually gonna go. I think I'm gonna prune him all the way back to the ground um, and I may dig him up. Um, I'm not very pleased with him there. Um, he's flowering right now. Let's walk over there and let's look at the flowers on him. All right, so here we are. Um, and I said this is a Carolina jasmine. This may be a Confederate jasmine. I can't remember. But um, it's planted right here in the base in the corner of the yard. And there is a bottle tree trellis. It's a bottle tree, but I use it as a trellis that it's growing up. I mean, there's a little bitty trellis down there too. And it has just completely taken over this corner and it's actually started to invade itself into my neighbor's yard, which is why I really need to get it out of here. Um, this is an absolutely beautiful vine. Um, and you can see, like I said, it is flowering right now. So it does look good, but at this point it is starting to go into this neighbor's yard, this neighbor's yard, and I think it's even going catty corner into that neighbor over there. So I want to be a good neighbor. And while it is a beautiful vine and it is incredibly thick and fast growing, just a good vine to have, I, I think to be a good neighbor, I am going to get rid of this. So that is something that you have to consider if you're doing suburban gardening like I do. If you live out in the country on a big piece of property, you plant this sucker and let it go nuts on your property. Um, and I planted this here. I actually, this was a gift plant for me. Um, I have some really awesome gardening friends who so they typically watch the channel. So Randy and Pat, um, they gave me this Jasmine several years ago. Um, and it was a cutting that they had taken off a plant in their yard and had potted it up into a one gallon. And I put it in here as a little one gallon and it's just, it's a great plant, but I want to be a good neighbor. And so that's something to consider. Like I said, if you are in a suburban garden, um, you're either going to want to be very diligent about pruning a vine or something like that, that's going to spill over in the neighbor neighbor's yards, or you just need to eliminate yourself the work and do away with it. And as you can see, I have not been diligent about pruning this vine. So at this point, I'm just going to call it a wonderful growing experience. I've got some experience under my belt with the jasmine, but I have too many other things going on to be down here pruning on this thing multiple times through the growing season. So I, I, it's time for this one to leave my yard. And then that will give me a corner here that I can do something different in. Um, this back here, I'm behind my shed back here. There's not a lot going on back here. I've got a big raised bed right here that I plant stuff in. This is where the potatoes and the garlic was planted um, this past growing season, if you've watched those videos. Um, so yeah, so I think at this point, I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the Sweet Autumn Clematis for the reasons I've listed already. I mean, I know some people are at home probably cringing, thinking, no, don't take it out. But 
I, I, it's got to go. It's 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 life has ran its course here at Horticulture Geek Garden. So I'm going to set the camera down and we're going to start pruning away at this sucker as well. So here we go. All right, so here we are, and as you can see, I have got the vine completely gone. Um, I stopped filming because it was just a lot. Um, this this vine was a lot, and so again, that's something cautionary tale. A jasmine vine goes crazy; it's nuts. Um, and this thing has shot runners out everywhere down here. Um, I did not realize how bad it had gotten. So I'm really glad I'm tackling this project now. Um, but like I said, I just, I turned the camera off. You saw enough of me pulling on vines. Um, and that's really what it took. I had to just prune and pull, prune and pull, and just get at it until I could get it all down. And so now I'm down here and I'm left with the stump ish, stump ish. But like I said, this thing had shot runners out. And so it's got runners um, that were going all through this little flower bed here and everywhere so and my next step is to dig this out but before i dig this out since i am wanting to eradicate this vine from this spot i'm going to treat it now if you had a jasmine vine or any vine that you just wanted to coppice prune and coppice prune just means you prune it to the ground okay fancy word for saying prune it to the ground or, or, or sometimes it's called a rejuvenation prune you could totally have done that so maybe you want to leave your vine here um you can just prune it to the ground and next year it will flush out and start growing brand new for you so you could be done right here but because I want to move in a different direction, um, I want this gone. Now, my fear is, is that if I just dig up as much of the root ball as I could get, that there's going to be pieces of root and vine left down there, and it's going to come back on me. So I'm going to take an extra step here, and I'm going to actually kill this vine. And to do that, I am using, it is a Bonide product. It is a fantastic product. So this is Stump and Vine Killer by Bonide um, and it comes with a little applicator brush you can see the picture of it right there so when you pull the top off here um, the brush is stuck to the top kind of like a bubbles bottle if you were a kid you remember pulling the bubble wand out of the bottle attached to the lid same concept and you just brush this killer on the tips of all of the vines down here where I've pruned off the, the trunks of the vine um, this stuff works um, I have some pesky weeds here in the yard that I will use this on as well. Some um, tree sprouts that come up. So this stuff works. So if you have a pesky stump or vines or something that it, you're trying to eradicate, I highly, highly recommend. And this is not a sponsored video. Bonnet has not paid me to say this. I'm just telling you from experience this is the stuff to get. So I'm going to get down here and I'm going to brush this onto the tips of all the vines that I've cut off. And then we're going to let this just sit. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to do is treat it and let it be for the winter. I want it to really die. And then I'll probably finish this project in the spring. I'll dig this up and kind of rework this bed in the spring. But for now, here we go. Okay, so here we are down here at the vine. And you can see I've cut and pruned and got all of these vines tipped off and you can so there's still a lot of debris here there's still some vines going everywhere 
So I'm just gonna take my applicator and I'm just gonna liberally coat all of these cuts all over. And this will work the poison. The plant will pull this poison into itself. And it will get down and that will actually kill this vine at the root and it will kill the whole thing. So even if I have missed something, if I come to dig something out um, and I was just to miss a root or something, this hopefully will just kill the whole thing. And look, there's even like a big stem right there. Let's go ahead and get some on that. All right, so that's what we have to do. So guys, that's the end of this video. I sure hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and maybe it has shown you a little something, uh, but these vines are easy to work with especially the Sweet Autumn Clematis. Um, I know people have asked me before how I prune down my Sweet Autumn Clematis. That one is super simple. As you saw, you literally just make a few cuts and that sucker will roll up like a carpet and can be hauled away. Um, this vine down here, I wanted to show you that because it is a project. Um, and I know a, a jasmine vine is something that a lot of people think they want. I was one of those. Um, they're a beautiful vine in the right situation, in the right conditions, but I thought this might be fun to show you the reverse side of that and how you go about getting rid of a vine that you no longer want. And so, what doesn't matter what kind of vine it is, um, a j jasmine vine, a trumpet vine, a wisteria vine, you know, the process is unfortunately gonna be the same. It's lots of brute physical force and labor. You've gotta prune it, cut it, pull it out, and you gotta kill that stump, you gotta kill that root so that it doesn't come back. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it has been informative to you. And hey, I just wanna thank you for joining me here in the garden for this uh, project that we've been working on over the past few days. Um, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening. <music>